Let's get one thing out of the way. This city's name, Regina, sounds like vagina. Someone told me, you know, Regina, it just, it rhymes with fun. It's been a global punchline for years. You didn't um, experience Regina till college, right? You didn't, go, <laughs> you didn't go up to Canada till college? So Regina's official tourism group decided to go with it. Uh, embrace it. We're not changing the name of the city of Regina anytime soon. It launched a new ad campaign for the city, including slogans like, show us your Regina and the city that rhymes with fun. I'd like to see you explain that to a seven-year-old. Did that make you uncomfortable? Residents unleashed criticism within hours, saying the slogans sexualized the city. We have to be thoughtful and mindful, especially in a city with incredibly high domestic violence rates, that we are not putting women and people in a position where the marketing is built around a campaign of, you know, what the city that rhymes with fun, with our vaginas, like, they're so fun. After just days, the tourism group cut the slogans and apologized. Our community didn't appreciate it and, and we just were wrong. Love it or hate it, this whole thing made international news. I think it certainly has, has put Regina on the map, probably to a lot of people that have never heard that Regina exists. So, you know, overall, I just think we should maybe applaud the creativity of the campaign. It's the brand of the destination. So um, whether you find it funny or humorous or otherwise, did it make you want to go there? Like, did, did you go to Google and check out the flights to Regina? Um, probably not. The tourism group is funded by Regina City Hall, but operates independently. City councillors here say they never approved those slogans, and they want to hold those who did accountable. Sam Sampson, CBC News, Regina.